everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and welcome to Behind the Scenes here at the Dice Tower. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, putting the library together for a convention. We're very close to Dice Tower East. It is just a month away at the time of me recording this. A little less than a month, actually. And so we um, are getting the library together. It's full time uh, on board with that. So Wendy works part time for the Dice Tower, and she's in charge of the library. She's in charge of putting things together. And while I delegate a lot of things in the Dice Tower, one of the things that I'm really on board with is the library. And so we get games that come in, and there are, when a game shows up at the Dice Tower, it shows up into the room I'm sitting in right now. In this room, we have lots of different games on the shelves, and they stay in this room until they are unboxed or something, but, or until someone plays them. Once someone plays the game, it moves to another room, and in that room, it will stay there until we decide to review the game. Once we review the game, we then have to decide what we're going to do with it. Does it get added to the library or not? Getting added to the library is not an easy task. You know, there's a lot of companies that will email me and say, we'll send you one of all our games for the library, but we don't have room for everyone's games. I mean, if we wanted to, we could have a library of 20,000 games, but who would that benefit? 2,000 is a good number, but I'm not even really bound by a specific number at the Dice Tower. I'm more bound by, is the game one that's going to get played? In the library, I keep three kinds of games. I keep games that are popular, games that people are going to play. I keep games that are maybe stalwart icons that maybe not a lot of people are going to play them, but they look good in the library. They're a game that someone might want to play, or at least they might want to look at. Like, for example, I just added Magic Realm to the library. Uh, Magic Realm is, you know, not a game I think a lot of people are going to pull out, but I think it's one that's worth looking at, one that people will pull out and say, what is this Magic Realm I've, ever heard, I've always heard about? Then the third kind of game I add to the library is games that might not be super popular, but we here at the Dice Tower like playing them. And so, since we're going to be at our own conventions, and I'll be like, oh, I want to show some people this new game, I can go pull those out of the library. So those are the three kind of games we get in the library. So right now, we're getting the library ready to go. We shelve all the games, and every year, I kind of rearrange the shelves a little bit, take games out of the library, move games into the thing, and I'll talk a little bit more about organization in another video as to how we do that exactly, but we're getting them ready to go. So right now, we are, we've taken the bands off. We have these bands that hold the box together. We snap them off the top, and we take a picture of each shelf, a full-color picture, and then we have everything um, digital, you know, where all the games go, but we take this picture because we put it on the top of the shelf, and when you come, you can take a look at the picture, compare that picture to the shelf, and see if, where the game goes on that shelf. Once that's done, um, in, a, in a couple weeks, we're going to box about half the games on each shelf, because the shelves are too heavy to move really well. With We're going to box the games, and then we're going to wrap and cover the shelves. And as we do that, we get the shelves ready, then we'll put them on a truck and send them off. So right now is kind of the prep area. We have to just make sure all the games are in the library. So in my library right now, we have 27 different shelves. Shelf 26 and 27 are kind of a catch-all be-all as games are coming into the library. I'm just grabbing them and throwing them on those shelves. Those are new games. Probably 50% of them won't make it to the next con because they're going to drop in popularity for whatever reason. And just because a game isn't in the library doesn't mean it's a bad game at all. It's just... I can't afford to keep games that people aren't going to play. We also have a hot games section, and this year for the first time, the hot games are going to be separate from the library. By that I mean, I, if I thought a game was going to go in the hot games room, I got an extra copy of the game that I'm not going to put in the library when it's done because it's going to get all beat up. We're also sleeving all of our hot games and that. But those games are kept in a separate spot, and then we'll eventually... If the game stays super popular, it will stay in the hot game room for maybe a couple conventions. Um, but once it fades in popularity, we will still have at least one copy in the library. And this year, almost all of our games in the hot games room are also in the library. There's one Expeditions from Stonemaier. We only have one copy of that, so that goes to hot games. But we will eventually get a copy for the library. Anyway, this definitely keeps us busy, and I hope it gives you a little bit of an idea of library work. If there are things that you would like to know about behind the scenes, certainly ask questions and stuff in this video, and maybe I'll make a video about how we do that part in the future. But it's just a little bit behind the scenes. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time on the Dice Tower.